All right, we have a 2013 Porsche Cayenne here. Uh, we're getting a loud hissing noise coming from uh, the air oil separator. Uh, the diagram, diaphragm here uh, has kind of withered and, and broken. So I'm gonna start up the vehicle now so you can hear the hissing noise. Uh, so you can see if you have the exact same problem. So as you can hear from the uh, startup of this one, it actually has a pretty big leak. It's trying to draw air in there and you can hear that uh, loud hissing noise. So Porsche doesn't really sell this part separately, but there are some aftermarket companies that uh, just make these diaphragms uh, that you'll see once I have it out here in a second. So what you're gonna wanna do is have a flathead screwdriver um, and just pry kinda around the edges and this is gonna pop off as you'll see here in a moment. Take your flathead screwdrivers, and you're just going to kind of pry around some of the edges, get these tabs unlocked, not really unlocked, but there you go, just kind of work it around. Some are going to be tighter than others, you just got to have some patience and you gotta pry with some effort, but not too much. You don't obviously want to crack this. There is a spring inside, so obviously be careful with that. Let's see if I can find the part of the diaphragm that fell apart. So pay attention to kind of the order here. Um, but if I pull this diaphragm out, you can obviously see the giant tear in it. That's where it was sucking the air through, making that loud, loud noise. So we have a new one that we're gonna replace it with and put it back together. All right, you'll probably wanna take a rag as well, just clean out the inside of the uh, air oil separator there, the PCV valve. Um, make sure you put everything back in the correct order once you uh, replace it with the proper diaphragm. Uh, make sure your spring is in there. And then we are just going to line this up as we had it. And push it on. Just like so. Looks like everything is locked on there, all the tabs. All right, we're all set, so we'll fire back up, make sure we uh, got rid of the noise, and that should uh, handle it. All right, once it's all back together, make sure you have uh, no more hissing noise, and you should be good to go. Uh, you may still need to clear a check engine light if you do have one. Um, there's a lot of tools out there to do that. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, like, comment.